And while we're gathering opinions on what works, would you say that my chin beard is working? It's working in terms of keeping me a lesbian. My fondest wish is to live as Nick Offerman. Oh, okay. So you want to be a woodworker. I knew I was gay when I would stay up and watch Saturday Night Live, put on a wife beater, and lift weights. That's when I knew. Also, I'd masturbate to Gillian Anderson and the X-Files. That's when my mom found out. Oh, you liar! You're not a gold star lesbian! There's been a penis in that! Ew. So I'm in the car with Debbie Andrew Glebe. She's so cool. She's a senior. I have a massive crush on her, okay? I'm thinking my wit and whatever I am, I can, I can turn her even though she was a straight person. She's taking me to this like family party. I think, oh, that's a sign. She's letting me into her world. I'm close. I'm so close. Yeah, she probably, she's probably, she's been in a harness a couple of times, so. <laughs> that came out wrong, didn't it? <laughs> oh, Shane, yeah. better issue a flash flood warning in my pants. Oh. I love you. You're my king. Little friendship kiss there. Hi, Eric. I'm writing a one woman show. Yeah. Oh, great. It'll be called Sad Lesbian Clown. <laughs> By the power vested in me by the stove, Vermont Unitarian Church. You may now kiss the friend. No, baby. Now, Kate, yes. do you have a girlfriend? Johnny, mm -hmm. I did, but four days ago. Oh, oh really? Once I became a comic, the fame has torn I you was apart. Dumped. The, the fa fame has ruined my life. Really? Stephen okay. wants Lay us. It on me. Stephen wanted us to ask you if you remember the mini affair you had with one of the writers. But, no, it was it was uh, it was a two week whirlwind. <laughs> um, that's the most lesbian things are. Oh. And then, uh, I lived at her house for two weeks while I was looking for an apartment. <laughs> oh my God! And, wow. Um, and that was it. And that, now she's my dear friend. Of course dear, she is. Your, oh, your best friend, friend, probably. Look, guys, shit happens. Okay? <laughs> that is a that is a hot house of of sexual, you know. Oh, wow. There were only two eligible lesbians last year, and that was us. Oh. I went. It was a Hooters. I spent my night at the Hooters. <laughs> That's the oh. best. But look at you now. Who yeah. books that? Yeah, it worked out. That'd be a sad story. Now I go to Hooters on the rank. Oh, 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 oh here, here's the most important. Take out, take out your right earring. Here, if you want yes, to know. They will. Okay, so here, here's, here's the thing. Before, 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 before you get out, before you get even undressed, if you want, here's how you be really good. So you pull the hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you have a camera? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. so an ear nibble. Uh -huh. Slow. Do you need a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lesbian, and my favorite thing about being a lesbian is watching the lesbian episodes of Next on MTV. Some girl named Ashley goes on a date with like five other girls, and they're all on the next bus. And one of them comes out and she's like, Hi, I'm Derica, I'm 21, and yes, the carpet does match the drapes. She's clearly something lesbians say all the time. I know I say it all the time. And then there's this amazing rhyming narrator who's like, Derricka didn't have the rack, so she gets it back. See, the, the thing is that if any of the writers of the show had ever met an actual lesbian, they would know that it would actually sound like this. Hi, I'm Derricka. I'm uh, 21. I work at a trans-friendly shelter, and I like to make my own soap out of 
other scraps of soap. Give the students a deep, penetrating experience. Really stimulate them. I like the sound of that. Yeah. So will you let me back into your life again? Can you take a chance on me? I don't know. Teacher, uh, my margins are so big. Aren't you going to mark them up with your red pen? I'm going to fill them with my comments. Oh. What an interesting and wonderful question, Steve. May I ask my brothers for help? Okay, show me. Children of the corn, not up there. Two. I can sum up my life with this bumper sticker. Gone fashion.